Hello everybody, this is Copler Farms and today I thought I'd make a video about dairy cows and uh, what I think is the most productive or and uh, easiest way balancing between those two features and uh, yeah and a couple of numbers that the new FS22 has bring, bring along so which are really important with these uh, dairy cows so the first milestone with the cows obviously you, with, with the age is the uh, 12 months that is where when the cows start producing milk that is 12 months and the next is 18 months and that is when they are starting to breed new calves and the first calf will born at a age of 27 months of the mother so nine months that will be pregnant so I have set up here simple simple dairy operation with three different barns so we have here barn which we are bringing the new new ones in new barns and then we have this kind of uh, middle uh, summer pasture where they will be about three months to get uh, better health and when they are starting to produ uh, preparing to start producing milk and then we have the main milking parlor here and which which will produce milk manure and slurry so obviously if you want you could you could um, put slurry and manure heaps <laughs> to every every parlor but i'm I, I play like this that I I usually put it in, in the main milking parlor. So yeah. Uh, what else? And also uh, the selling prices. I have investigated this a little bit. So the best selling price when you feed your cows TMR or hay is between 24 months and 36 months. After that, the selling price will reduce so it is between those months it's 1500 per cow so this is uh, obviously with the dairy cows so it doesn't make di any difference to use Holstein or brown swiss they are it's basically just aesthetic thing how do you want them to look like yeah so uh, let's start with this I have uh, here the buying silos obviously if you get get a new cows the most productive thing is to go to the animal dealer but uh, just for sake of the time i'm not going to do it do it that way i will just buy buy it from here but uh, we are using amount of animals seven pieces so because this trailer has seven so it's easy to rotate them so uh, yeah so usually I use this for or I re recommend to use this for the for the calf barn for the animals between ages 0 to 9 months and I am purchasing purchasing animals here uh, every 3 months so we will have uh, 21 at the start we will have 21 calves here before I move the first load to the uh, to the outside pasture so let's get the first lo load going in so I will take the Holstein so these are 200 a piece and uh, obviously I have to pay the 50 euro fee but uh, yeah that will wouldn't be if I would 
get it from the animal dealer, obviously. So let's buy this seven. Okay, now we have seven, seven animals. I will get them a feed. Yeah, about feed. <laughs> yeah. So that's the important part because uh, you know it makes a little bit easier because these don't produce anything. I will feed them grass. That's the. But I'm not sure. There's been a little talk that there would be a little glitch with the grass on the game and it probably will be updated but I'm not sure about that it's possible but uh, I will just put the grass in here because if you think about uh, uh, when feeding these animals these cows they will not produce anything we are just waiting them to get AIDS and I'm going to not be able to go under there so we will change the trailers all right now we can fit under here <laughs> so yeah the glitch on the cross is that uh, it seems that the animals if you feed them grass no matter what age uh, the older ones they don't produce any milk they don't produce any manure or make any new cows so probably need to avoid them until the update or oh, i don't know if it's on purpose i don't i don't i don't think i don't know exactly so but anyway it doesn't matter with these calves because they will not produce anything for us and uh, i will i usually feed them grass because it's so easy you just get the front mower and loading wagon and that's it nothing more really easy so let's take a look now here so they are they are there and going everything will go up so next thing is I will skip three months so one month a day and uh, we will see you in three months okay three months have been passed and as you can see health is zero everything is zero they have consumed very little feed and uh, only 461 liters of slurry has come up so if you want them to produce more obviously you would probably put hay with these but uh, I usually don't care but because uh, if you if you just leave them I don't know if that's it that is a glitch also but if you just leave them without the food they don't die on the, on this version of of season stay that just uh, <laughs> stay there so I don't know yeah usually I pl played on FS90 with the uh, season so this is a little bit different but uh, yeah you gotta you, you can play it with the <laughs> rules that are given so let's let's buy just the next patch so seven it is again and buy yes please and we will jump another three months i will see you after three months <laughs> all right february and three months has passed again let's see we got six months old and we got three months old and i haven't done anything to feed them they have still twenty-eight thousand liters and health zero reproduction zero everything zero only 1600 of slurry so last batch before we move the first ones away so we'll buy this and skip time again okay we are now at in may and nine months is the oldest one that we have the seven p of them so feet have gone in my uh, nine months a little bit down but the uh, health is zero and now we are moving the first load out of this calf barn to the uh, outside pasture but obviously you can put any 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 barn or just three or any any barn you like on this on this rotation 
which is one or two and, and as you can see that even though the health is zero the uh, value has gone up so we will move the seven to the trailer yes and put these guys over here and they will have now two months time to recover from zero health with the hay feed so these will go there like so and I will give them feed and uh, water that's the negative thing on this outside pasta that you need to give them water but first we are going to because we don't produce our own cows yet we are going to get another seven obviously so these ones and seven it is bye thank you and yeah we have here newborns three months six months and nine months on the outside pasture so let's be back here in another three months yeah and actually it was two months because these are 11 months old now and as you can see we have productivity and health 100 percent and not much uh, the hay uh, reasonable consumption so obviously i mean one month per day so not too bad so now they are 11 months old so we are going to move them to the uh, actual milking parlor to get that tmr and they will i want to always be sure that they are on that highest productivity with the tmr and getting a lot of milk for us so let's try where the hell is the tricker come on okay why is it so hot now now oh. all right so value is 768 as you can remember uh the maximum was 1500 and that on uh, on the uh, 24 month old cow oh not there I'm not going, <laughs> not going to the there one here and uh, I don't know where, where the trigger is it just always seems to be a little a little fiddly here yeah. okay so move these yes let's shut it off and then we will just get some tmr from here yes yeah these are really a nice save for these tests and things like that this buy anything silo absolutely fantastic 82 studios got us covered and collision camera would be nice <laughs> that would be nice okay so these are getting food and uh, water is automatic so as you can see they will take a lot wow everything yeah so i will fill it up and uh, see you tomorrow when we get another tree to the milk uh, calf barn
and obviously I meant another seven <laughs> so we are now in August the month we started so let's get the another seven here yes and we got 28 and then we will move these uh, nine month olds to the uh, outside pasture and I have not given these guys food yet and it has been whole year and as you can see here we got productivity again 100 and they are 12 months old and they are producing milk and I will also put them uh, straw now I forgot to put it yesterday it was supposed to be done then but anyway I move the se seven of these guys here and give those guys a straw and uh, then we will see I think uh, at the three months or two months actually when we move these guys over there okay again October and these ones are now 11 months old and they will move to the uh, milking parlor and get get their health and uh, productivity to the best so that they will produce a lot of milk so here we go and next month we will again move these uh, nine month old calves to here so that's how the rotation goes and uh, I think this is the <laughs> I don't know the best way but the way I, I do it and it seems to be really nice but we will see I will uh, skip time a lot and continue with this buying new calves and we will see what happens when uh, when our oldest cows are 24 months old when they uh, sorry 27 months old when they should give their new birth so I will see you on there and 18 months they will get pregnant and nine months from there they will uh, they will get a new calf and uh, I haven't yet given <laughs> these guys any feed more so quite easy quite easy with the grass just give them but I will have to give them obviously between this long months so how more 13 months ahead we will go. all right I will see you when first calf is born okay now the rotation is complete it's November and our our oldest cow is 27 months old and now we have here nine months old which is going to move again to the uh, open pasture summer pasture out pasture whatever you want to call it over here and actually I haven't even added water on this pasture at all this is the same same that we put in the start so this is nine months old move to the pasture yes like so and now we don't have to buy any more cows so this is just going to uh, repeat itself because we have new calves in here but obviously over here so these will go again to the uh, calf barn but obviously if if um, you would like to extend your amount of cows increase so you wouldn't uh, 
you will probably buy more or keep these guys here because if we take a look now here these are 27 months old 1500 in value and it will not go up anymore it will go down when we could keep these 36 months and uh, maybe sell them in tw 35 months old so as you can see <laughs> we have nearly 50,000 liters of uh, milk and all is looking pretty good and how much do we have these cows now one two three four five six seven eight nine nine times seven so oh my god yeah <laughs> nine times seven 63 yeah so we got 63 cows and obviously i was just using the number seven because the because of this uh, animal trailer but that's how that's how i think it's the best way to rotate the cows and make them productive and now we could sell this oldest one here because uh they are not pregnant and uh these guys are pregnant the 24 old and new calves are coming in so we could just sell this for 10,400 so not pretty nice and we bought them on uh, 1750 so pretty hefty profit on those animals and uh, that's the way I, I rotate these animals and uh, it seems to be working fine but I know when uh, maybe some new season mod comes along a little bit more realistic this will change but uh, this is how obviously this uh, works now I think it's the best way or I don't know maybe you have an idea but that's how I play do this and rotate but uh, yeah maybe this was helpful helpful for you any of you and uh, about the ages of the cows and something like that and give you a little e more info or tip how to rotate these animals so want to thank you for watching and yeah please remember to su subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you for watching bye bye